Folks, I think it is finally starting to happen. So yesterday, the Snyders announced that they have hired both of securities to consider potential transactions with the Washington franchise. This is a segment of Bank of America that handles high-profile transactions, such as the sale of companies, and in this case, the sale of either a minority stake in a professional sports club or the entire franchise. A spokesperson of the Washington Commanders told Forbes, that they are exploring all options, including the sale of the entire franchise. So yes, this time, it is actually possible that we are looking for the Snyders to sell the Washington Commanders and get out of the football business for good, and let someone else finally own the team that will hopefully bring back some respectability to this crumbling franchise. And also today, we learned that mega billionaire Jeff Bezos, you know, the founder of Amazon, of whom I touched upon a year or so ago, is interested once again in purchasing the NFL franchise. And yes, he is interested in possibly purchasing the Washington Commanders. Then there is also talk that he would partner with the rapper Jay-Z, who would serve as the team's minority owner in the plight to purchase the team. And, of course, just as that news was announced, Forbes, which is, by the way, Snyder's favorite magazine, releases an article on Jeff Bezos and how Bezos could be in trouble because of allegations made by an ex-housekeeper in regards to racial bias and unsafe working conditions. Does that sound familiar at all? So, certainly, <clears throat> when there's smoke... My friends, there's fire. And certainly, there has been some truth to the idea that Bezos is indeed interested in becoming the next owner of the Washington Commanders, but he is not among one of Dan Snyder's favorite people. And after all, Bezos owns the Washington Post, you know, which is the magazine that the paper that never really post anything very fond and favorable of Dan Snyder, and it certainly has released a lot of negative media and publicity about the embattled owner. This is what the picture looks like to me. Okay, Dan Snyder is going to have to sell the team. I mean, there's just too much on him at this point, in my opinion. You know, owners are against him. He, he's stinking up the joint. He's gotten the attention of the U.S. government, the NFL, and, of course, the fans hate him. I mean, what does he have to gain by keeping ownership of the Washington Commanders? The team is never going to win a Super Bowl under him. Now, I'm pretty confident in saying that. I mean, he's he's been the owner for, what, 23 years so, is Bezo and Jay-Z ready to take ownership? And will they be able to right the ship? Now, one thing to think about. <clears throat> if the price is $5.6 billion, which is what I think it's estimated that the Washington Commanders franchise is worth, then for Jeff Bezos, the price is probably likely to be much higher. Because, you know, Dan Snyder is not going to like the idea of selling to Jeff Bezos whatsoever. And right now, the Snyders, I believe, have options. And from what reports have said, there's like four potential buyers who have stepped out and who have shown some interest. And so if a bidding war starts, I totally expect the team to go as high as, I don't know, maybe even $7 billion and... Once it's all said and done, in the end, Dan Snyder, he's not going to turn down $7 billion. I mean, he's just not. Uh, and even if it's to Jeff Bezos, I mean, how can he turn down $7 billion? But guarantee, he's not going to sell the base price to Jeff Bezos. Not unless it's one of those things where Dan Snyder is going to have to cut bait and run or... He's going to be thrown in jail. Other than that, he's going to try to 
sell to the highest bidder and get out before he gets in trouble. Now, in, in my coming videos, we will be going over other potential buyers and assuming the team is heading toward a likely sale, which I think they are. And while it would be Dan, so much Dan Snyder-ish that he would put this announcement out there only, only to try and grab some willing partner to take a minority stake in the team, you know, a partner who would not have any controlling decisions in the team, in the franchise whatsoever, just so that he could have that extra money coming in to possibly fund a stadium. It wouldn't doubt, I would not doubt in the least that, you know, I mean, that would be so Dan Snyder, right? Um, but, you know, I, I think this time it's different. And, you know, all signs point to a entirety of a sale. You know, the entire franchise is going to be sold. And I think it needs to be sold pretty so soon, honestly. I, I, I do think this is the end of the road for the Snyders. It's time for this franchise, this fans, and honestly, the whole District of Columbia to start the healing process. And a lot of us Washington fans, longtime fans, fans who have, you know, are younger, who have never got to really experience the glory years, all of us need a chance to heal and need to experience a well run organization that is respectable again. You know, an organization that was run like it was under Jack Kincoot, who brought us Super Bowl championships, who brought us a perennial winner every single year. That is what we need. And I think we're going to get that pretty soon. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be within the next day or two, but I think... It is coming really soon. And who knows, maybe by the end of the season, we will know for sure who's going to be the next owner of the Washington Commanders. And then at that point, the question may be, are they still going to be the Washington Commanders? Maybe that's another video. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.